Hi, today I'm going to show you a very different kind of recipe. So please watch my video till the end. I'll tell you the other ingredients later on. So in this bowl, I have around 250 gram of flour, half teaspoon of nigella seeds, then salt that you can take according to your taste, then one tablespoon of vanaspati ghee and one tablespoon of refined oil. Let's start the process. So here I add the nigella seeds, salt, refined oil, and the vanaspati ghee. And this I'm going to mix with my hand. You can see that I have mixed the ingredients very thoroughly. Now I'll be using water to knead the dough. So I'm done with the kneading of the dough. I have used exactly 14 tablespoons of water to knead the dough. And let me tell you one thing. The dough should not be too soft nor too hard. It should be medium like this. Now I'm going to cover it uh, with a cloth or any plate and then keep it aside for around 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's go and start preparing for the filling. So here are the ingredients for the fillings. In this bowl, I have one egg, one bowl of chopped carrot, one bowl of chopped cabbage, one medium-sized chopped onion, seven to eight pieces of chopped garlic, salt according to your taste, half teaspoon of black pepper powder, and one tablespoon of soya sauce. And here I have taken one packet of noodles. Now these noodles I'm going to boil first and after that I'll tell you what to do next. I have placed a pan on the stove to boil the noodles. So into this pan I'm going to pour around one liter of water. And let the water boil first. After that only I'm going to add the noodles. Into this water I'm going to add around one third teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of oil and let's wait for the water to boil you can see that the water is boiling so now I'm going to put the noodles into this boiling water and let it sit for around three minutes by covering it with the lid so here I put the noodles. I have switched off the gas. What I usually do is that I don't boil the noodles. I just let the water boil first. After that, I put all the noodles and switch off the gas, cover it with a lid and let the noodles sit in the water for around three to four minutes. After that, I drain away all the water I have switched off the gas. Now I'm going to cover this with a lid and let the noodles sit in the hot water for around three to four minutes. You can see that after soaking the noodles in the hot water for nearly four minutes, the noodles have puffed up in size, isn't it? Now I'm going to drain the water. So in this way, I have drained the water and washed the noodles once with cold water. So let's go and start preparing the fillings with the vegetables. I have placed a pan on the stove and I'm keeping the flame in medium. So into this pan, I'm going to add around one tablespoon of oil and let it become hot after that i'll add the garlic and the onion pieces 
you can see that the oil has become hot so I'm going to reduce the flame to simmer here I add the garlic then the onion and I'm going to saute this for around two minutes I'm keeping the flame to medium to this I'm going to add the noodles the soy uh, this black pepper powder the soya sauce and salt salt you can add according to your taste and I'm going to saute this for around 3 minutes after that only I'm going to add the vegetables after sorting for 3 minutes, now I'm going to add the vegetables, cabbage, carrot, and I'm going to cook this for another 2 minutes. So all together it will be 3 plus 2, 5 minutes. I'm going to add the egg also. I'm done. I'm not going to overcook the vegetables but half cook. So I'm going to switch off the gas and let's start making the dough for the filling. Here is the dough. I'll knead it for around one minute. After that we'll start making the pockets for the filling. I've kneaded for one minute. Now I'm going to make small small balls from this dough and after that I'll tell you what to do next. Here I have made five round balls from that dough. Now I'm going to take one ball and roll this with the help of a rolling pin. But before that let's first sprinkle some flour, dust like this with some flour on the dough and the surface so that we will be able to roll the dough smoothly so here i'm rolling the dough with the help of a rolling pin like this i'm going to roll into a big size it should not be too thin nor too thick say around three millimeter In this way I have rolled the dough, you can see. Now I'm going to cut this into a rectangular shape, you can see, like this, like this, on the four sides, like this. And this I'm going to remove it, we can reuse again. In this way I have cut the dough into a rectangular shape if you want you can cut it in the shape of a square also so now into this pocket i'm going to fill the noodles and the vegetable fillings here i take a spoonful of the filling like this and i'm going to drag this on one side and seal the edges like this like this I'm going to cover like this like this I hope you have understood how to seal like this in this way I have sealed the edges can you see now with the help of a fork I'm going to press like this to give a design like this like this like this then this side also like this so in this way I'm going to make all the pockets along with the fillings and after that I'll show you what to do next in this way I have made all the pockets so now let's go and fry 
I have placed uh, a pan on the stove and I have poured the oil also. So let's wait for the oil to become hot. After that, we'll start frying the pockets. You can see the oil has become hot. So now I'm going to fry them. So here I put. And on a medium flame, I'm going to fry on both the sides till they are slightly golden brown. So here it is, our stuffed noodles pockets. It's very simple, but it tastes wonderful. You can try it and taste it. I'll show you how crispy they have turned out to be by scratching with a fork. Just listen. So crispy, isn't it? I will show you the inside by cutting a piece. Look at this. It looks so colorful and so yummy, isn't it? Outside it is crispy, inside it is so yummy. So please try to make this recipe and do let me know in the comment section how do you like it. So if you like watching my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And please do comment also. Thank you so much for watching.